Hi, my name is Luisa. I'm a cosmetic chemist and the founder of Luisa Fanzani Cosmetics Lab. Today I want to talk about uh, cosmetics that can be used safely during pregnancy. So if you are pregnant or if you are planning to get pregnant, um, listen carefully. Uh, before I do that, um, I want to um, make clear that I'm not a doctor and uh, this is just my uh, personal opinion and whatever I say, do not take it as uh, medical advice. Also, before you actually buy and use uh, something uh, on your skin, um, you should always consult uh, with your primary physician or uh, dermatologist, if you're pregnant, of course. Okay, so let's start with uh, the video. Okay, what products can you, skincare products, can you use um, during pregnancy? Um, what I found, and um, I don't know, many of you uh, might not know this, uh, but I uh, started my career as a pharmacist. Uh, so I was, uh, um, I was actually working in a, in a pharmacy and uh, saw many, in, help the many pregnant uh, women. So um, I definitely know what kind of products in terms of medication you can take or, or you shouldn't take, but, but I'm not gonna talk about that because again, I'm not a pharmacist anymore. So I'm only gonna stick to skincare. First of all, why, uh, why this topic is so hot right now? Um, the reason is that uh, um, one of the main uh, concern, uh, skin concern during pregnancy is uh, acne, which is due to some hormonal uh, imbalances and that is something that you can easily notice on the skin. It's um, psychologically can have, uh, um, can really affect um, a person, um, not just when they are pregnant, but in general, um, this is why um, you know the topic started on can you still use your uh, um, anti-acne uh, skincare products while you're pregnant uh, or not? So, as a general rule, um, I want you to uh, know that uh, most moisturizer, uh, serums, uh, cleanser are uh, perfectly perfect perfectly uh, safe uh, during pregnancy, so you have nothing to worry about. You, however, you should be careful about, um, I would say, uh, a handful of uh, ingredients that I'm going to mention right now for you. Okay, so let's start with I, with I just mentioned, uh, acne. Let's see if um, some of the most um, important and gold standard uh, treatments for acne um, are still available for you during pregnancies. pregnancy. This would be salicylic acid for sure, benzoyl peroxide and um, the most famous one, uh, retinoids. Uh, okay, let's start with salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is still considered safe to use during pregnancy up to uh, 2%. Um, I doubt uh, that, you, that you ever be able to find a cosmetic product that has more than 2% of salicylic acid um, concentration into it. And if you do, that product should not be regulated as a cosmetic, so kindly do not buy that product. But let's talk about, uh, in general, salicylic acid is uh, considered perfectly safe. However, it's still an aspirin uh, derivate and we know that uh, aspirin should be uh, lowered or completely avoided during pregnancy. So um, since we have um, other, com other molecules that work as well as salicylic acid, um, I think uh, you should opt for this instead. Just to be, just to be, you know, I always say it's better to be safe than sorry. So what else can you use as uh, um, salicylic acid uh, replacement? Um, you could use, for example, other acids like mandelic acid, glycolic acid and lactic acid that works um, just as fine as salicylic acid and you're not, you, should, you won't have any problem using this. How about benzoyl peroxide? 
benzoyl peroxide is another um, standard treatment for uh, acne and uh, um, when during pregnancy it is considered safe at lower dosages um, up to 5%. So again, um, definitely in science tell, tells us that it's safe, um, but um, like I said for the salicylic acid there are uh, alternatives that uh, work uh, just as well. Um, so, should you use it or not? Because I know this is what you want, you want me to tell you. Um, so again, if you follow the scientific uh, studies, it has been shown that it's completely safe, up to 5%. So, um, it should be safe. Um, what I think, what I personally recommend as uh, so I'm not talking as a cosmetic chemist now, but I'm talking to you as I was your friend. Personally, I still wouldn't use it and I would stick with those acids that I mentioned uh, before uh, Mandelic, glycolic and lactic acid, but again um, It is considered safe um, The third the gold standard treatment for acne that uh, um, That I want to discuss are um, retinoids um, retinoids, this everyone uh, agrees that retinoids should be um, definitely avoided during, uh, during uh, pregnancy. So remember if you read on a cream or a serum that contains retinol or retinol um, derivates such as retinyl um, palmitate, definitely I want you to ditch these uh, products and uh, use something else. Okay, it's just nine months, so I'm sure you can do that. Moving forward with the, the, the next category of products that women have been asking me about, I want to discuss uh, the use of uh, sunscreen. So if you are pregnant, you still have to use your sunscreen and uh, um, both chemical and mineral sunscreen are completely safe. But, um, still talking to you as a friend, if you are not 100% uh, comfortable in using chemical sunscreen because um, you think that uh, it might get absorbed and might not cause uh, issues to, to the fetus, then by any means use the mineral sunscreens. Those are as uh, safe as uh, the chemical ones and safe meaning they're still gonna give you um, a broad spectrum uh, protection so um, again um, you know better be safe than sorry the next uh, category of ingredients that i want to discuss are essential oils this is funny because i i do not recommend you uh, use essential oils uh, Ever. So even if you are not pregnant, I just don't want you to use essential oils. This is because they are well known to be the first um, cause of uh, skin irritation and allergies um, because of how concentrated they are and also because of the variety of molecules that they contain. So um, definitely um, skip the essential oils uh, during uh, pregnancy. Um, another uh, active ingredient that you should be avoiding during pregnancy is uh, hydroquinone. This is just because it has not been um, tested whether it's safe or not during pregnancy. So because it hasn't been tested, I want you to completely um, skip it. So um, if, you are, if you are dealing with dark spots, uh, I'd rather you use uh, vitamin, C, uh, vitamin C or niacinamide. Um, serum instead. How about uh, uh, topical antibiotics? But this is not really, my, this is in between because now I feel it's not really my field as antibiotics are regulated as OTC medication. But again, since I'm a pharmacist, uh, mm, I was at least a pharmacist, um, I want to uh, spend a few words on those. 
Um, those are uh, uh, considered uh, safe to be used uh, during pregnancy. So if you need to use them, uh, go ahead. And the same thing is true for uh, steroids uh, creams. However, um, I do think that uh, topically applied uh, antibiotics are not um, an effective treatment for acne. So um, definitely, if you are taking those just for the acne, I would recommend you stop them. And uh, steroids as well, meaning that uh, um, unless you have uh, an ongoing uh, inflammation or something serious, I do not see um, the need for that um, on your skin. So, um, as a general, very, very general rule, um, during pregnancy, um, less, the less you apply, the better it is. Not everything has been tested, so just to be on the safe side, um, just try to use less, less products as you can. But, again, the moisturizer uh, or the serums, those that contain like uh, botanical oils and uh, emollients or hyaluronic acid, um, all those uh, products are 100% safe and uh, they will not still are they are still gonna help you um, you help your skin uh, glow. So no worries about those. Pay attention to the few that I mentioned and uh, have enjoy your pregnancy. If you uh, like the if you like this video, if you like the content um, that I put out for you, um, please subscribe to the channel and um, or if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. But please share uh, these videos or uh, any of other my any other videos that I made with your friends. Um, that really helps me spread the message so that we can really we can improve the beauty industry and um, have better products for everyone. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.